what's up everybody and good morning or good evening to you for me right now it is actually uh two o'clock in the morning and uh, i'm getting ready to go to work so yes people get up really early in my profession to go to work but i wanted to talk to you guys about the automatic furnace now right off the bat let me say i don't take credit for any of this uh i don't i did not come with the original concept but i am changing it a little uh, so I did do some research and I did try to find people who have actually done it and a lot of them credited someone else and then you went to that person and they credited it to someone else so I don't take any full credit for this uh, setup or this idea but I did change it a little to uh, fit what I need so to start off with welcome to my test world um, this is where I've been testing new things, new ideas, and in my old world, uh, I deleted. So, kind of think of it like a, like a brand new lab for me. So, let's get started. Uh, now, my automatic furnaces are pretty simple. First, you start off with a regular chest. Then behind that, put a hopper. And hold down shift and pointing at the chest. Then, put a furnace on top of the hopper by holding down shift and clicking on top of the furnace all right now what this will do is anything that is here will go in here okay uh, again this doesn't require redstone okay so I'm gonna make that clear it doesn't require any redstone uh, for this for this particular uh, setup all right then you'll put another hopper holding down shift on the very top of the furnace and we'll go over that quick uh, here shortly all right after that, put another hopper on the back side of the furnace. All right. Now, I know I'm in fly mode, but let's pretend you're doing this in your world. Uh, you can use any type of stone you want. Okay. Uh, I do suggest that you do use uh, f uh, cobblestone and, or not cobblestone, but uh, f uh, I'll get out in a minute. Uh, uh, it's too early in the morning for this, uh, but I needed to do it because I had a couple people ask me at work. They were like, how do you do that? And I was like, uh, I'll make a video of it. Um, half slabs. There we go. I do suggest you use half slabs. Now, let's say, for example, that you dug this into your mountain base or your you got a house or something, and you want to hide this, okay? So it's not a big deal. Uh, there we go. I'm trying to find an angle here. Uh, first things first, you'll want to put a chest, and I you can, you can face it however you want. I like facing my chest out on top, okay? Just hold down shift on the on the top hopper. Just hold down shift and click on the top. Just like you did with all the other ones. And put a chest here on this hopper. Okay. That's pretty much it. There's no red power needed. Uh, redstone red power. Wow. That's a classic game. A uh, classic reference. Uh, no, Nothing really needed after this. I mean, except, of course, a coal or something. Uh, but like, uh, for example, if you take, uh, um, take your half slabs and you can go in here and decorate it. You can hide like this piece right here and, uh, you know, you can make it look really good to where it's on the, where on the uh, outside, no one can see it. Uh, and it doesn't have any redstone attached to it. So you don't have to worry about oh no am i going to uh... am i going to cut off my redstone uh... i've done that several times <laughs> that's the only reason why i know uh... but like i said you can just decorate it any, any which way you want um, hell for that matter you could put a half slab right here and i believe i did this in my in my in my world uh... for my very first furnace Okay, so there you go. I mean, nice setup. I mean, it's what? One, two, three, four blocks high? Four blocks high with the half slab. So, four and a half, I guess you could say. Now, how does this work? It's very simple. Um, with, because you don't have... I mean, you need to get some coal. Forget about that. Uh, coal, 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 coal. It doesn't matter. Charcoal, coal. Um, oh. 
you just put your coal in. Now see how this is moving? It is moving to whoops. My bad, wrong one. <laughs> Told you it's too early in the morning. That that one right there is for the top, as you can see. <laughs> it's this one back here is the one I want. <laughs> I want this one. There we go. And then now, as you can see, the furnace is getting its fuel. And then up here, we'll just throw some cobblestone sticks. Cobblestone in, cobblestone sticks. So there you go. It's already cooking. And it's uh, stacking. So you really, you can just walk away from this, literally. And you don't have to stand here and wait for it. Uh, you really don't have to stand at, uh, you know, stick around at all. Because everything that's cooked will be cooked and put in this uh, chest. So, uh, and I apologize if I sound groggy, because like I said, it's two o'clock in the morning. So <laughs> I I couldn't even remember the own, my own setup. That's pretty bad. So uh, you can put iron. I mean, it, whatever you put here. Uh, let's do that. Let's try this. Let's do uh, iron. I'll throw a couple. Oh, too many, too many, too many. Let's throw some iron in there. Um. Let's throw uh, beef. Yeah, we'll throw some beef in there. Uh, you know, and you can see just how quick it is rocking. Um, and the reason why it's, you know, it's sitting there, and then uh, now you don't see the uh, the iron because the iron is actually right here. So you have a good amount of space of just. You know, if you got a bunch of iron, you can just lay it all in here, and eventually it will come out. Um, so you got 24 there. And like I said, it's just going to keep kicking. Now, if I take this out, here comes the iron. See? Okay? Easy breezy. Now, uh, somebody asked me about my daylight sensor and how it exactly it works. And I'll show you how that works. Uh, again, this is not red powered. Or, wow, this is not redstone powered. So, uh, the only redstone power that I have on my particular setup is the daylight sensor, which is super, super easy uh, and it's very compact. Um, and I'll show you that real quick. So, basic, get off of that. So, basically, you're going to do the same thing that you always do. Excuse me, one from one moment. We have to change it at the day. And I've been messing around with the music. Turn that down a little bit. There we go. Sorry about that. Uh, I know this supposed to be, tutorials are supposed to be quick, so I'm trying to make it as quick as possible. So you put redstone, uh, two redstone lamps, um, and then you just put a repeater right in the middle. Okay. Then you follow that up with redstone, and you can go anywhere you want with it. Uh, you can up and about or wherever. And then you throw down a block of your choice. Doesn't matter which one. All right. And you're gonna invert the power. Okay. So that basically means you're gonna put a uh, redstone torch on one side. Right. All right. And then you're gonna go. You can go one more or two more. I always go two more just in case. And you put the sensor down. Okay. What this does is this cuts off this. Okay. It inverts the power so that. Uh oh. You can tell it's time for me to get up. Shh. Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. You're going to wake people up. Sorry about that. Whoops. Uh, but this will cut off the power. Now, uh, you can... I mean, you can hide this if you wanted to with just taking them. I love half slabs for some reason. I just... I dig half slabs. Um, you know, you can take half slabs and go along here and clean all this up. Actually... Yeah, actually, you gotta go like this. You gotta go a block higher than your redstone, which is no big deal. Uh, and you go out. I mean, you can hide all this. I mean, that essentially, see, as you can see, you can't you can't get on top of that redstone, so you actually have to go a block higher than your actual redstone is. is. So, you know, you can just like I said, you can you can adjust the redstone to wherever you want it to go, and uh, again, because the hopper is not redstone powered, you don't have to worry too much about 
whether or not you're going to cut power to it or cut power to uh, the uh, hopper and you know again like I said you don't have to do it like this you can make it more compact uh, you can make it as compact as you want um, you don't need, you know you can put the daylight sensor somewhere else uh, but I like putting it with my my uh, my uh, automatic furniture so as you can see it's still daytime and we are still a cooking and everything's looking good everything's looking great and we're like okay so we're underneath the ground now okay or you're in your mine or whatever and you're like oh I wonder if it's daytime and you look down and the sensors on so are powering so yes it is still it's still daytime now if we to oops get back over here I want E. If we take uh, if we change it to night, now what happened? Now this is what this is what I was talking about. Look, look, and take a look. We cut off the redstone power because why? We did something. We caused it to cut off. Why? Where? Hmm. We did something, and then I did this in the in the let's play too. So don't don't. <laughs> this is normal for me. I did something wrong. What did I do wrong? I inverted like I was supposed to. Did I put one too many redstone? Is that what it was? Let's find out. Oh, it's too early in the morning for this. I've had this down pat. What the hell? Oh, pfft, duh. There we go. My bad. My bad. So I didn't cut it off. I just put the torch on the wrong side. The redstone torch on the wrong side. My bad. My bad about that, guys. Lesson learned. Lesson learned. Torch on this side. Not this side. I don't... As you can tell, I don't really do a lot of redstone uh, power. Which means... We can actually do this and not cut it off. Sweet. Um... But there you go. It's now you can tell it's day. It's uh, excuse me. It's nighttime, uh, just from the furnace. And I haven't had to touch the furnace in all this time because everything is getting shifted into here, which is awesome. Because we still got iron going, um, or not iron. We still got a uh, what you call it going. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I apologize for all the rumbling, but the important part was this, and then of course the additional part was everybody. If everybody doesn't know how to invert power, or yeah, is it invert? I can't remember what it is. Anyways, um, reversing the power at, for a night sensor, that's how you pretty much do it. Just remember to put the torch. Put the torch on that side, not the other side. Anyway, guys, I gotta hit the, the uh, what do you call that thing? Uh, my job. I gotta go to work. And uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate everything everybody does and does. Um, Please make sure that you are, because uh, it's 4th of July, it's coming up. Please be safe, be secure, and don't drink and drive and all that good stuff. Uh, I will catch you around some other time. Uh, later.